Located in your properties, you'll find a section called Pen. And with this, we can work with the five pen styles that come default with Toon Boom Studio. And we can even make our own or delete pen styles. Now, of course, I play around with this quite a bit, so your pen sizes may vary in a different way than mine. Now, something else I want to point out that's very important. You see a minimum and a maximum size. If you are not using a digital tablet, you are only able to work with a maximum size because your mouse is pretty much set to create whatever size you're working with. If you're working with a digital tablet, such as, such as a Wacom tablet, then you can work with the minimum and maximum size. And what does that mean? Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens with the brush tool. I'm going to use a very steady weight on the pad and draw as much of a straight line as I can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press very lightly and then gradually press more, lighten up a little bit, and press more. And this is what you can do when you have a digital tablet. You can vary the weight of the line as you draw. And this is very handy when you're creating illustrations so you can have a more dynamic feel to it. And one of the ways you would use that, for example, let's make believe you're drawing a character's arm. All right, so we have uh, the bottom part of the, of the fist and we're gonna go to the top and draw like so. And then I'm gonna come down here and thicken that out when it gets to the forearm area. Put a little bit of that little vein in there. And come over here very lightly, thicken that up. Put the elbow in. You see what I'm saying? And now we're going to do a little bit of the bulge for the muscle. And the under here we're going to do the same thing. Bulge. And you can get this very nice look when you're working with the pen Wacom tablet. Or any kind of digital tablet. With a mouse, you're pretty much going to be stuck with one thickness. Alright, having done all that, let's talk about some of the uh, styles we have here. As you see, we have any pen style you can choose and when you click on it the minimum and maximum size as well as the smoothness changes and what we can do with this maximum stuff here is we can always increase this so I'll go ahead and choose this pen and I can increase the maximum size and I can go ahead and draw out a line I can go ahead and decrease that and I can vary the width of that line what the smoothness will do is it will give you a more smooth appearance or a less jaggy feel. So let's go ahead and knock this down to nothing. All right, let's go to let's go to a maximum size. The first one, what I meant is let's go to a maximum size so we can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to knock the smoothness down to zero. And what I'm going to do is draw a line out. And as you can see, it's a little jaggy. I have none of the smoothness on. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump the smoothness all the way up to a, a ten and draw the same line. And as you see here, it has a more of a vector feel to it instead of a pixelated feel because it has less jaggedness to it and it's a little bit more smooth. So that's what this will really do for you. Although, you know, you really are working with very optimized lines, but you can change the smoothness to change the feel of that line. Now, what if you want to create your own pen style? Well, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. First of all, you can choose a pen style to start with and then click the plus sign. What happens is the style that you were just on is copied. And now what you can do is you can change the minimum and maximum size of that particular pen size. If you want to change the name of it, all you have to do is come over to where it says pen name and just double click on it and name it whatever you want to. And that's it. If you decide later on you don't want this, just hit this negative sign here and that pen style is now removed. So once again, you can change the names of the pen styles. You can change the minimum size, the maximum size. You can work with the smoothness. You can also create your own pens, delete them. And last but not least, this also applies to the eraser, by the way. So I want to let you know, this uh, minimum and maximum will work with your brush as well as your eraser and pencil tools.